his third straight bogey. Billy can tie it up. There it is, all tied, coming to the last hole. Casper has made up seven strokes in eight holes. Casper hasn't hit this 18th fairway in three rounds, but now, with everything riding, finally he's in the fairway. Palmer uses a one iron off the tee. Pulled it badly, into the heavy rough on the left. The gallery, in a frenzy of excitement, breaks through the ropes. Palmer from the rough. He rips it out. A great effort. Casper makes sure he's up. 17 feet from the hole. The pressure on Palmer is terrific. Casper looks like he's finishing a friendly round at home. Palmer puts downhill. Very wide. Arnold must putt again because of the continuous putting rule. A critical three-footer. That puts it up to Casper. Billy could end it right now. No, it won't break that much. Get up. A fantastic comeback by Billy Casper, who played the back nine in 32. They're tied at 278, and there will be an 18-hole playoff tomorrow. The playoff. They are both level with par after three holes. After a big drive, Palmer approaches the fourth green. From 18 feet. Arnold draws first blood. Coming to the pretty little eighth hole, Arnold leads by two. Into the heart of the green. Casper flies his right at the flag stick. Great shot. Billy, a six footer for a birdie. Get up. He's one under par in this playoff, but that's not good enough yet. On the ninth, Casper does a most unusual thing for Casper. Three putts for the first time this week. Palmer's lead is two strokes again. On the hard 11th, Casper is still behind by two. Just caught a piece of the green. Palmer hooks his second. The rough holds the ball off the green. After Palmer's chip, Casper starts his putt from 30 feet. Again, Casper is starting to charge on the back nine. 
Palmer needs this to retain the lead. They're tied. Still tied on the par 3, 13th. Casper playing a long iron. On, but not as close as it appears. Palmer goes for the flag in the back of the green. It doesn't hold. But he's inside Casper. Billy putts from all of 50 feet. Wow! He's taken the lead for the first time since the second round. Has anyone ever putted better under pressure? At 14, Palmer has missed the green. His chip is short. That will be a bogey. And Casper leads by two. Palmer bogeyed the 15th as well to fall three behind. Casper, with a very comfortable lead, plays his third away from the bunker on the 16th. The 16th has conquered Palmer again. This is his fourth. Into the bunker. Arnold's ball is partly buried. Billy was a bit bold with that one. That means a bogey six. But poor Arnold has a putt for a six. No. He's four behind with only two to go. The last hole. Casper lost a stroke on 17. But he has this open wrapped up. Isn't that something? Palmer was short. A good pitch. A par for a 72. Ever gracious, Arnold manages to respond to the acclamation. But imagine how disappointed he is. A champion's finish. A birdie on the last hole for a 69. Casper has played four of five rounds in less than 70. One of the great achievements in the history of the Open. The Casper family greets the winner. Let's have Billy Casper introduce some of his family. Well, here's Billy and my daughter Linda and my wife Shirley. As you can see, Shirley is the chairman of the finance committee. Billy Casper, Open Champion again.